Hello, hello everyone. Hello guys, how are you guys on today? Guess what time it is? It is story time with Miss Doris. Yes, I have an awesome, awesome story for us on today. Well, guess what? Today is Wednesday. And on Wednesday, we read a Christian story on Wednesday. Today's story we're going to be reading is going to be Esau and Jacob. Esau and Jacob. And our story is going to be coming out of our children's Bible. Children's Read and Learn Bible. Today is Wednesday. So on Wednesdays are our Christian days. So we're just going to go ahead on and get started. <coughs> I would like to say hello to everyone out there in Storytime Land. Hello, guys. How are you on today? I like to say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and to some good night. Someone is going to bed somewhere in the world, but guess what? You are just in time for story time with Miss Doris. I'm so, so excited to be reading you an awesome story. Again, today's story we're going to be reading is Esau and Jacob, and that's going to be coming from the book in our Bibles from Genesis 31 through 33, Esau and Jacob, Esau and Jacob. We're going to be talking about Esau forgives, and guess what, guys? Can you guess what our today's color is? Miss Doris is wearing that color, but guess what? I'm wearing three colors, but only one color is our color for today. What color do you think? You I spy is today's color for Miss Doris. I'll give you guys a couple of seconds. So let's see. I'm wearing the color red. I'm wearing the color red, the color black, and the color white. So I'm wearing red, black, and white. But well, only one color is our today's color. What color do you think is Miss Storytime's color of the day? Well, I'm going to help you out. Today's color of the day is going to be the color. Well, Shekana, do you can you guess what today's color is going to be? It's okay, Shekana. Come on, you can do it. Today's color is going to be the color black. Today's color is going to be the color black. And this color card, the shape is in the shape of a rectangle. This color is the color black so i'll give you guys a couple of ch a chance couple of seconds so what color is miss doris's color for today let's say it together today's color is the color black i didn't hear you guys let's say it again what is today's color let's say it together today's color is the color black and this is in the shape of a rectangle say it together the color black and this is the shape of a rectangle you guys did awesome good job guess who our muppet guest friend is on today our muppet guest friend is going to be mr cow is our muppet guest friend on today and mr cow has some black and gray black gray and white on him, so I'm excited. So shout out to all of you out there in Storytime Land. I missed you guys. Happy New Year's again to all of you, to all the new followers that are tuning in. Happy New Year's to all of you. And guess what? To all of you guys that are celebrating a birthday, happy birthday to you from Miss Storytime. Happy birthday, guys. I am so excited. Well, guess what? Just enough with all those announcements. I know you guys are ready for that story time song. Remember, when we're doing that story time song, make sure you are practicing safety, safety first. Special shout outs to you, Deborah. Happy birthday to you. I'm sorry I couldn't make it for lunch, but happy birthday to you on today. Happy birthday, Ruben, to all of you guys that are celebrating your birthday on today. There's that song, Shekana. I want to hear you sing. Hello, Royce. How are you on today? Hello, Tahir. Tahir is one month old. Hello and welcome to Storytime with Miss Doris. 
It's story time. Hello, Miss Georgetta, to that new grandbaby of yours. I think her name is Georgetta or Rose, I'm not for sure. But welcome to Story Time with Miss Doris. Story is just, just what to do. Story time. It's story time. It's story time. It's story time, guys, and I'm so excited. I hope you are having an awesome, awesome day. And I hope you're having an awesome, awesome lunch. Sing to you, tell you all just what to do. Wow, you guys were awesome. I heard you singing so, so loud. Well, guess what? Go ahead on and have a seat while Miss Doris at Story Time reads you an awesome, awesome story on today. <clears throat> Esau forgives, and this is going to be coming from Genesis chapters 31 through 33. Esau forgives. Jacob woke up and remembered his dream. How great is this place? He thought, this is the gates of heaven. Let me turn the music down just a tad bit. Jacob woke up and remembered his dream. How great is this place, he thought. This is the gate of heaven. Jacob took the stone he had dreamed of on and set it upright on the sand. He named the place Bethel, which means the house of God. Jacob lived among his mother's people for many, many, many years. He had a large, large family. He had herds of sheep, goats, cattle, donkeys, and camels. Oh my goodness, Jacob had lots and lots of cattle. Story time. One day God came to Jacob again and told him to return to the land of his father Isaac, Jacob's mother Rebekah had died. Jacob had not seen his father in 20 years. He wanted to go back to his old home, but he was afraid to meet his brother. What if Esau was still angry with him? Jacob had an idea. He called his servants and asked them to take some animals to Esau as a gift. There were 220 sheep and 200 and 20 goats. There were 30 mother camels and their young. There were 50 cattle and 30 donkeys. Then Jacob went to meet Esau. Hello, Royce. Hello, Royce. How are you? I'm glad you're tuning in. Hello to here. How are you on today? I think I, I hope I pronounced this name right. To here, to her. I don't know, but it's one of them. To here, to her. Welcome to our new, welcome to Storytime. That's one of our new followers, guys. And guess what? He's only one month old. And we would like to welcome him to Storytime with Miss Doris. Hello, Miss Nisha. How are you on today? Happy New Year's to you guys. Today's story we're reading is Esau and Jacob. Esau forgives. And we're coming out of the book of Genesis 31 and 33 out of our children's Bible, out of our children's Bible on today. <clears throat> Jacob had an idea. He's called his servants and asked them to take some animals to Esau as a gift. There were 220 sheep, 220 goats, and 30 mother camels and their young. There were 50 cattle and 30 donkeys. Then Jacob went to meet Esau. The gift of animals were used as money as often as given as gifts because they were very, very important. Without animals, families had no way of feeding themselves. So Esau wanted to go home back to his family, but he hadn't seen his father for 20 years. He didn't know how his brother was going to accept him. What would happen? Would Esau want to fight? When Esau saw Jacob, he ran to him and put his arms around him. 
The brothers wept tears of joy. Why did you send all these animals? Esau asked. I already have plenty. Each had gone his own way just as God had met them too. Now God had brought them back together again. Wow, that was an awesome story. Talking about Esau forgive. So he forgave his brother. And Esau, Jacob was the one that had the dream. And he remembered the dream that God had given him. And it was such a great, great place. And the dream that would meant to him was he looked at it as being the gates of heaven the gates of heaven that's the way jacob looked at the dream but jacob had stones in the dream and he had set up some stones upright in some sand so hmm i wonder what he thought was going to happen but guess what he had named the place he came to a place in bethel which means the house of god and that's what he named it so jacob lived with his mother for many, many, many years that he had. They had such a large, large family. They had lots of herds, lots of, their herds were so many donkeys, camels, goats, and sheep. They had so, so many. But guess what? He wanted to go home, but he hadn't been home for over 20 years. He hadn't seen his father, Isaac, but Jacob's mother, Rebecca, had died when he made it back home. But he didn't know how his brother Esau was going to accept him back in their life. But guess what? They were still brothers. But he was gone for so long. So what he did was he sent them, he sent his brother camels, you know, to beg his pardon. Because he didn't want to just go back and not send them anything. So he did send them. But he asked, why would you send it? And we already had it. But once he made it home, guess what? His brother welcomed him back with love and kindness, with open arms. And guess what? That's what God wants us to do on today. He wants us to accept his people, which is God's people, regardless of what they have done to us or what has happened in the past. Guess what, guys? This is a new year, a year of 2022 a new year of new blessings of God's blessing. Guess what? God wants to bless us and bless you as children. So if we as children, if we're mad or we're angry and we don't like our friends, guess what? We want to show love and kindness towards everyone. And even for us adults, God wants us to show love. God is love. God is love on today. And he loves all of us in spite of what we do so he wants us to share that hello pastor howard how are you god wants us to show that love and kindness to all people and guess what if we are not showing that love and kindness the way god wants us to we are hindering our own blessing miss story time doesn't want to hinder her blessing i want to receive all the blessings that god has in store for me I don't want my blessings to be a hindrance because I'm mad or I'm upset or I'm holding a grudge. So guess what, guys? So on today, I want you to show love and kindness to everyone, just as Esau did to Jacob in our story on today. It doesn't matter how long ago it was. Are you going back to your family? Welcome them back with love and kindness that's what god wants us to do show love and kindness you guys are awesome i enjoyed reading you the story today on esau forgives and that came from the book in our bible of genesis 31 through 33 you guys are awesome remember if you're not feeling well always always let mom and dad know you guys are not feeling well and they would take really 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 good care of you and when you're playing with those toys that you receive over the holiday make sure that you are still washing and sanitizing your hands at all all times it's important that you wash and sanitize your hands at all times because guess what we don't want you guys getting sick it's a lot of people sick and we just gonna have to keep them in our prayers 
God is a healer and God is still working miracles. But make sure we are doing our part as practicing safety, safety first. And guess what? When you're out in public, it's imperative that when you're out in public, we are still practicing safety first. So we must still wear our mask. Make sure you're still wearing your mask at all times, guys. Don't take your mask off unless someone tells you to. Oh, man. Oh, that was a lot I had to say. But guess what? It's all worth it. I enjoyed reading you guys an awesome, awesome story on today. And remember, as we always say at the end of our story time, if you're not smiling on today, I hope once she sees me, story time smile, and let's see our Mr. Cow smile, that you are smiling on today. Take care and God bless you all. Love you all with the love of God. See you on tomorrow. Take care. Don't forget to smile.